$1.99 per kilogram of onions. Make a cry today, they'll make This news break is brought to you by South Australia's leading business bank. Hello again. A warning tonight to check the identification of anyone claiming to be a police officer but appearing at all suspicious. For the third time, bogus officers have attacked a resident in Adelaide's north. Their latest target, John DeLoof from Holden Hill. They said they were CYB. When they opened the door, he immediately ripped the screen out and then started kicking the main door in. Within three kicks, it was kicked in. John was beaten before the intruders fled. In a move to freshen up the federal government's image ahead of the election, the Prime Minister has announced a reshuffle of his ministry. Environment Minister David Kemp and Communications Minister Darrell Williams are retiring. The Prime Minister taking advantage of that to remove them from his front bench. I think it will uh, further strengthen and uh, invigorate and refresh the federal ministry. Helen Coonan from New South Wales and West Australian Senator Ian Campbell come into Cabinet. And Port Adelaide will name its new chief executive tomorrow morning, a replacement for the respected Brian Cunningham, who stand down at the end of this season. More Australians get their news from Channel 9 than from any other source. Tonight, CSI Miami is taking a break as we proudly present the premier television event, Pompeii, The Last Day. This program proudly brought to you by King Arthur in cinemas July 15. The following program is classified M. The Nine Network recommends viewing by mature audiences. It contains some violence.